welcome back family in today's video i'm going to be showing you this a uh, living conditioner for nourishment for moisturizing and to prevent your hair from dryness and to also help to tamp freezing most especially if you have a medium to low porosity hair i swear this is for you guys so i just wash my hair freshly washed with my uh shampoo with my diy shampoo i made last time the one you guys normally know with uh, gloves and other ingredients to stimulate your scalp for baldness regrowth as you can see guys i just did this shampoo on saturday and uh, so i went ahead to spray on with my glove moisturizing hair growth uh leave in spray which you guys also know if you have been following me and follow to this uh leave in conditioner that will help to replenish to nourish and to strengthen your hair growth so definitely uh the tea is to concentrate on your scalp why uh, you know this leave-in conditioner is to strengthen your hair Hair to grow so guys if you have been following me you guys know that i've been suffering of alopecia and so lately to god be all the glory we have been using glove and mixture with other things but glove is the number one stuff so today i just want to show you how you can make a living conditioner to nourish your hair and to grow your hair longer and thicker <music> So family, the first uh, ingredient you are going to be needing in this preparation. This preparation is very simple. You don't need a uh, B wax. You don't need E wax. You don't need a uh, BTM. You don't need anything emulsifying family you just need a simple ingredient that is going to look like that one you make with emulsifier so the first thing i'm going to be pouring in here is my glycerin as usual every ingredient measurement where to get them they are always in the description box so followed by i'm going to be adding uh, a guar gum but you can add sender gum i just prefer guar gum because uh, when i take off the twist i want it to look that twisty like as if i use gel or custard and not only that this stuff is also amazing with the amazing ingredient that is going to come in uh with this mixture to make your hair to look that healthy to prevent your hair from dryness from breakage and to prevent your hair from split and those enemy of your hair that stop your hair from you know springing length so for that reason i'm just going to mix them together to make sure it is well mixed without it having lumps by the time we go ahead and add some water so i'm going to be adding uh 20 gram of water then i mix them i'm going to be adding 30 gram all together make 50 gram of water in this phase right now so i'm just going to stir it very well until it's really smooth and homogeneous by using this uh stuff to get it that homogeneous because by the, the one i was using is not you know mixing that very well so now this is my um uh msm powder you can add any powder of your choice but i'm adding smsm powder guys msm i don't want to say sms okay don't misquote me <laughs> anyway yeah and this is my iluni powder iluni powder is in this case is going to help to you know unlock the ingredients of this living conditioner in your hair cortex so for that reason it's going to help to nourish your hair it's going to prevent your hair from freezing because iluni powder is mainly used when creating something that has to do with moisturizing freezing and then you know tamming freezing those dryness anything that has to do with a uh, breakage okay so now i just set that aside i'm going to come in with another water guys don't be confused of how what i'm making separating water and all just pay attention definitely i'm going to link the disc link everything in the description board but pay attention to the video okay so meanwhile here i mentioned 30 gram of water 
with just a three gram of my carbo mare. I'm going to be using two gel in this. So after dusting it on top of the water, I just set it aside to hydrate in the water because carbon may if you are like to sit is better to hydrate in the water than when you walk it out it might have lumps because it's very very difficult to work with anyway so it is better you keep it to hydrate overnight before making all this stuff so now we are going to come with the main ingredients that we really need in this stuff which is our rice guys you know that rice contain protein and not that kind of protein that can cause that much sensitive but depend on your skin type as we all know not everything is good for everybody so i just first and foremost wash out uh i went ahead to wash it twice you know to make it come clean and now we have come to the state of the water is clean so i just pour um let me say uh 150 gram of water inside to boil it so now as you can see it has start to steam and the color has turned into that clouding you know so the next thing i'm going to be doing right now this is my coconut milk powder milk hide no i'm that's the dry the milk to come into powder which you can use in creating product or which you can use to you know make anything dough or you know baking and all so otherwise you can just use the coconut milk on its own direct in here use uh let me say 100 milliliter so that is what i just did after mixing i like to you know melt i set it aside now while it's still steaming for at least three minutes so now this is my carbomen mist or you know stand this is my carbomen mist so i'm going to be adding my shea butter in it while the other one with guar gum is still aside so now i'm going to come in with my with my oil and fatty uh you know so now this is my coconut oil i just added coconut oil as well coconut oil shea butter and the vitamin e which is this is tocopherol alpha tocopherol you can use normal vitamin e anyway but as i said this is mainly like in in a moisturizing and nourishing uh leave-in conditioner for most concentrated for medium to low porosity or dry hair so after mixing a little bit now i'm going to pour in my guar gum mixture with uh you know iluni and msm powder okay so i just want to stay halfway why i come in now with my rice uh what i uh, make water that's just steam for three minutes after setting it aside they just turn off the, the flame and remove it from your flame so see if they this uh milk rice and coconut milk inside and now give it a stir halfway uh, because you need the heat from the milk uh, coconut milk and rice water to help to melt your shea butter your coconut now we are going to work it out you are going to mix thoroughly at least for five minutes because you really need to emulsify this together very 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 well in that case it's not going to separate never I mean never because of the carbomer is going to help to lock everything inside uh, you know along with him guar gum or you can use sander gum as well so you can see the texture is so so smooth lovely and very very fluffy like as if it's a normal uh leave-in conditioner that you made with uh you know emulsifier so here is my um my glove extract so i'm just going to add just a little drop there's no quantity you know uh you know requested for this you can add as much as you want the more you add the better it is so with that i will be adding my you know uh peppermint essential oil as my uh essential or you can add any one as well of your own personal choice so just mix it with your with your hand mixer or your spatula but i will go with my spatula first because i still need to come in with my preservative so with that i'm going to just mix it completely so just make sure according because this 
um, quantity I'm doing is 250 milli milliliter gram or let me say 250 gram or 200 milliliter of a product so for that reason I went ahead to add the quantity that is needed in this store but I'm going to anyway I will link the all ingredients i'm just creating here otherwise i would have sent the basic ingredient you can go ahead and increase yours but let me just say uh you know more or less no one is bad so i can just link this very one day so after that i just went ahead to give it um a stir completely to finish up with my uh preservatives so now lastly this is just a um, natural fragrance let me say the one you use for you know um for cake dough anything you are preparing this is a uh, vanilla so just to give it that smell of vanilla i went ahead to add this natural uh you know um flavor to give that vanilla smell which does not cause any harm on your skin it does not cause irritation even if you have sensitive skin as i said this one is the type they use in making baking so you can use as long as it's natural there's no alcohol in it so you can see how smooth it just spread smoothly on your skin without residue so this is super guys super 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 amazing so after all now i'm going to just pop it into this my jar we am going to be using it for and you know what guys this soft was so amazing guys it twists your hair like no man's business and not only that when you take off your twist it's going to just give your hair that super coiling definition like a juicy Call if you understand so guys if you love this video share to support my channel thank you all for watching god bless you all as usual bye bye